Hi guys, welcome to Box Bread. Uh, this is my brief post-fight video uh, regarding the fight that happened in Germany on the weekend, which saw Robert Stieglitz putting his uh, super middleweight title on the line against Arthur Abraham, and Arthur Abraham came out uh, with the victory and as the new champion. Um, I finally taken managed to take a look at the fight because I wasn't able to watch it on the, the weekend. And first of all, you know, um, a very good fight, as many people mentioned on Twitter. Uh, it was really an exciting fight. Um, and pretty much what I expected, you know, a good exciting fight between two top boxers. Um, I actually scored the fight a draw. Um, I had it 114 apiece. But I really can see how it was given to Abraham because I quite easily could have given a couple of rounds extra to Arthur Abraham. I think the judges weren't weren't um, too far off. I think the 115-113 was probably uh, about right uh, to Abraham. Um, but yeah, a really good fight. I think that the game plans um, made the difference in this fight. I think that Stieglitz had the wrong one and Arthur Abraham had the right game plan. I think that uh, Stieglitz was coming out a bit too quickly in the rounds, if you look. Most of the rounds he was coming out on fire. He was just coming out and backing Arthur Abraham up. Um, and then Abraham was coming on more as the, as the round went on and he was getting all of the noticeable... Uh, you know, he was more noticeable as the, as the round went on and towards the end of the round. I think that's what pipped it for him, really. Um, and another thing that really played into his hands here is, the, you know, Robert Stieglitz had a notable lack of power. He wasn't really able to hurt Arthur Abraham. So he was just backing Abraham up early in the round and Abraham was just, you know, dropping his hands and goading him on and uh, showing him basically that he couldn't hurt him. And then he was coming back later in the, on in the round and he was pushing Stieglitz back, but he was hurting Stieglitz, you know. Um, he was throwing that Klitschko left hand, left jab, right hook, you know, quick combo. And he was catching Stieglitz, you know, his punch accuracy was really good. He was catching Stieglitz all the time with that right hand. Um, and, you know, but going back to the judging and the scoring on the fight, I also asked myself if I hadn't scored the fight and I'd just been watching it just from a viewing standpoint, um, who would I think would have won the fight? And I have to say, I think I clearly would have felt that Abraham won the fight. You just have to look at the damage he did to Stieglitz's face. That left eye was hurt pretty early on in the fight. And then he got to the, to the right eye later on as well. Um, and all in all, I think if you look at the fight, and you look at the two fighters at the end, I feel that Alfred Abraham did win that fight. Um, I did judge it a draw, um, but I can see how Abraham was given the decision because of the way that the fight seemed to be going and the general feeling about the fight. Um, you know, your gut feeling, gut reaction as to who you feel won the fight. Um, so, you know, one thing this showed me is that as I knew before the fight, Stieglitz is no bum. You know, he's a really good good fighter. I still think he's on that world level and he's a good fighter for other guys to face. Particularly because he doesn't have particularly a lot of power. Um, I think, you know, you can... You know, because neither of those guys were that that difficult to hit. Um, and I think Stieglitz did show a distinct lack of power in that fight. Um, but I liked the good work rate of Stieglitz. I liked um, the quality of punches he was throwing. I, th I thought he actually threw some good quality body shots in there. Um, and he showed some good, a good variety of punches, you know, some good positives for Stieglitz. He just wasn't able to hurt Abraham enough to, to you know, um, back him up and, and keep him backed up. I mean, Abraham in this fight, as I, as I predicted, uh, was a lot looser. He's got this more flowing style now where he's able to drop his hands. He's willing to just come out of that shell. Earlier on in the fight, he did show a tendency. Um, I was a bit concerned because he showed a tendency when, when Stieglitz was, was throwing... Um, a lot of good combinations up top. Abraham was going back into that shell a bit, and he wasn't really, you know, he's not a counter puncher, obviously, he's not going to turn into that overnight. But I think as the fight went on, he got a bit more comfortable, and as he felt the game plan was working, he started getting on top and hurting Stieglitz. I feel that like Abraham came out of his shell, and he was just, you know, lowering the hands, and it just helps him, you know, it was to lower the hands rather than coming from this point. I feel that the whole movement, the, the increased movement, and like I said, Abraham said he's working on his explosiveness and speed. And I think his hand speed really told in this fight. Um, he was just you know, able to just throw a quick combo, the one-twos. And he was able to just let his hands go far more than we saw in the Super 6. And I think we really saw it after Abraham at, at uh, back to his all best, really, in this fight. Um, being able to let his hands go and not being dictated by the opposition. 
you know, not being dictated by the guy, the opposition throwing combinations to keep him in that shell. He was willing to actually at times not go into the shell, but sort of use body movement and foot movement to move out the way and actually to, you know, not uh, disadvantage himself into that shell. But then he could at he could come back with an attack of his own. And I think that's really um, what I expected, as you saw in my prediction, but what actually came to fruition is one thing saying is going to happen, another thing for him to actually do it. And you know what? Props to Alfred Abraham, because a lot of guys on his back uh, writing him off now, saying he's that that bad. Myself included, I was saying you know, he was extremely limited, and he was. You know, From that Super 6, he was outed as an extremely limited fighter. He was very one-dimensional. But I have to give him props, you know. Uh, boxing's a cruel sport. And he has had the knowledge and brain to actually address those weaknesses, and it's worked. And um, all power to Alfred Abraham. Um, I hope he's got more big fights coming his way. He's the champion now. He's got some good fights to come. And I hope he keeps on exciting us and fighting in that way, because I think he has a really good chance to win some more good fights with that style. Um, so I think I've covered the fight with what I wanted to say. Um, overall, really good fight. Props to both guys for giving us a good fight, and both fighting a really close fight. Um... There's talk of George Groves and James DeGale looking to fight Arthur Abraham soon, um, perhaps trying to take their chance at the world title. I think George Groves has a really good chance against Arthur Abraham because I think George Groves is a very good natural mover in the ring. We saw against James DeGale, he was a he's able to back up and fight on the back foot. Another thing Arthur Abraham showed he can do in this fight, he was fighting off the back foot very well, um, so I was impressed by that. But George Groves is natural at it. And I think that with Adam Booth in his corner to give him an, a game plan and his ability to follow through with that game plan, uh, I think George Groves could be a dangerous opponent for Alfred Abraham. Also, George Groves has power um, and he can counter punch. So I think that uh, he could, with the right game plan, give Arthur Abraham all he can handle. And I, I actually uh, think Groves have a good chance in that fight. Um, James DeGale... I wouldn't take it right now if I was DeGale. I don't think DeGale's been fighting often enough lately. He needs to get back in the ring and get more active, and he needs to sort out a few kinks in his chinks in his, his game. Um, I'd like to see him in the ring at least another once or twice before fighting Arthur Abraham. Because I think DeGale, he showed in his last fight that he can get hit. And I, I don't know, there's something about DeGale at the moment. He's not quite on top of his game for me. Um... And he's easier to find in the ring than Groves. He's easier for Alfred Abraham to find. He's going to be more in front of Alfred Abraham. Um, you know, DeGale has that sort of body movement that he's quite elusive. But at the same time, the, the accuracy that Alfred Abraham's showing in his punches and he, the fact he can throw body shots as well as up top, I think he's quite a dangerous opponent for James DeGale right now. That's just my take on those two fights. Um, I'd rather see Groves making that jump than DeGale right now. Uh, maybe if the girl had had a couple of fights recently, I would have been, you know, saying, and he looked good. I would have said, you know, go ahead, because you know the girl's a good, good boxer. But right now, um, I think more possibility of Groves going for that, seeing as he was supposed to fight Stieglitz anyway uh, a few months back. So thanks for listening, guys. Um, you know, all the guys on Twitter as well I mentioned to you guys. Um, after as I was watching the fight, I was thinking to myself, this is exactly how the guys said it went. Um, you really, you guys get a spot on all the time. I didn't see the fight, but you told me how it went, and you weren't wrong. You were spot on, and uh, it was really just watching what you had told me had happened. Um, so that's always good to know that you can go on Twitter and get get good solid uh, facts. Um, and also, Hatman TV came to me afterwards and left a comment on uh, my prediction video, and he said, you know, that um, it was very much the work rate from came from Stieglitz, but the quality of punches came from Arthur Abraham, and that's exactly what the story of the fight was. Um, so, you know, it's always good to have these guys who can come and tell you exactly how it went down. Um, so thanks for listening, guys. Uh, thanks for, for continuing to tune into my channel here at Boxbred. Um, please stay tuned, because I am going to try and get some videos out soon uh, for the fights that are happening in early September. We've got some good fights happening in September now, and I'm going to be uh, dropping my prediction videos on them very soon. So thanks for watching. As always, this is Boxbred, and I'm out.